Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about uh, port forwarding and port forwarding alternatives. So let me start out by saying that if you are hosting a service behind your firewall um, and it needs to be exposed to the internet, um, typically we're going to want to put everything behind a VPN. But if you've got a device, let's say a Synology, and it can do all the proper security and MFA, and you're only going to expose the web ports, you're typically going to be okay-ish, right? Uh, it, it's one of those risk-reward things that you have to deal with. Um, if you can stick everything behind a VPN, that's uh, and the VPN has MFA, then that is obviously optimal. But if you want to you know, forward ports, let's take, take a look at what that looks like with Unify. So here's my uh, UDR. So we're going to go to settings, and then we're going to go to security, and we are going to go to port forwarding. Now here's where we can create a, uh, a port forward. So here we could call this, you know, anything web server. And if you're going to run Let's Encrypt on a web server, you're going to want port 80 and also 443 because we're only going to want to serve our content over uh, 443, which is supposed to be encrypted. So we're going to enable the rule. Here, uh, the from, so this is where the, uh, the Unify gear kind of mixes uh, NAT with port forwarding because when you look at an edge router and you use port forwarding, you can't limit the source unless you, you know, go into the firewall rules and uh, go into the NAT the NAT setup. From here, they actually allow us to put limited. So if we put limited, we're going to have to put, you know, a source IP. What is the source IP that is allowed to connect to this uh, port forward? Or if we just say any, that means the entire world outside of, you know, who we're blocking as far as countries go are going to be allowed to hit this port. Now, the port um, that this first port is the port of the service that we want the public to see, right? So if it's web, we're going to do like 80 and 443. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same port inside, which is what this forward port is. So you could actually have traffic come into port 80 and redirect it to port 88 internally if that's what it's running on on your server internally. Most of the time, these ports are going to be congruent. Forward IP is the machine inside that's running the, uh, um, the service that you want to forward to. And then protocol is TCP or UDP. Now, web server is standard to TCP. Um, if you've got other services, it could be UDP. So you're going to want to make sure you know what protocol you need to forward. And then logging by default, Unify is not going to uh, log packets in the system that match this port forward. Um, we have used this in the past for troubleshooting, like why isn't a port forward working? We've also done it when we did port forwards and admins had to be notified when someone actually did uh, log in. So here's an example. A company had RDP, I know, but it was protected by MFA. I tried to talk them into a VPN. They didn't want to do the VPN. So we, 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 we helped them with the port forward. But what did we do? We set up a Kiwi syslog server because they need to be notified when... Uh, somebody comes through the firewall that matched this rule. So what we did was we enabled logging. We pushed the logging out to a Kiwi syslog server. We looked for a match in this rule, and then they were sent an email uh, when somebody connected so they could keep track of all that. So uh, you can log, you can not log. I like to log, log things. And uh, then we're going to hit add entry, and that's it. The system's going to provision, and now... If, uh, you know, there's, if this is a real address and you have an actual public IP address, people are going to be able to come through your public IP address on your WAN and get to this service. Really straightforward, really easy. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions about this. I'll answer them down in the comments or you can reach out to me um, on social media or send an email. 
And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links to support the channel and, uh, and a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, you need to get your network security shored up, you you know, need an assessment, you want voice over IP, storage, all those good things, reach out at willyhow.com. There's a contact form over there on the front page. Just fill that out, click submit, and somebody will be with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.